Okay guys, I'm back with you again today doing another tutorial. Um, this one, got to kind of tell a little bit of a story beforehand uh, before I start this off. The other day I was on Green Bay Wacky's panel and uh, we had some, some Hangouts glitch, glitch issues. Um, literally, it glitched out. A um, few of us that were on a panel could not be seen on the YouTube feed. And then it glitched back to where we could be seen, but there was another person's icon on the screen. However, it wasn't showing up in the Hangouts. Now, Green Bay, he was, uh, he was a little concerned because he thought, you know, maybe it crossed streams and what if I get uh, porn bombed or something, you know? Um, and, and, you know, he, he decided he was gonna shut down the stream, he did, and afterwards, I told him after, after the stream was ended, when we was on the private call, that uh, there's some features in Hangouts that could have prevented him from having to shut down a stream. He could have turned on cameraman and he didn't know what I was talking about. So I, I proceeded to tell him about it and show him and he said, you know, I've been on here three years and I didn't know that you could do that on Hangouts. I said, yeah, you can also, uh, you know how the control panel works, Green Bay. I said, you can also give full control to another person on the panel. So like if something were to happen and you had to leave the panel for a few minutes, somebody else could be in charge and, and you know, handle things. And he said he didn't know that you could do that either. And then he told me that he, he really wanted me to do this video. And I said, yeah, I'll think about it, I'll think about it. So here I am doing this video and I'm gonna show you a couple of the, the control uh, capabilities that you have with uh, Google Hangouts. So now we'll start with, uh, we'll start with the cameraman, okay? We'll bring up cameraman and it brings it over here on the side and broadcast settings. It says, and this is a yes, no thing. You just click the, click the bubble you choose somebody's calling me in the hangouts <laughs> I don't know who it is either right now okay I'm gonna decline it for a second it's gonna continue to ring come on anyways as guests joins hi uh, as guests join hide their audio and video from my broadcast what this means is when they come up on panel you can see them and hear them, but your audience, your YouTube feed will not feature them audio or video. So if you are inviting somebody up onto your panel for the first time that you really don't know, and it turned out to be a troll, um, porn bombing you or something like that, it wouldn't go out through your YouTube feed and you wouldn't get a channel strike because of it because you're, you're previewing, previewing their channel before it ever goes out over the feed. This is a great feature to have, especially if you bring new people up onto your panels. Um, broadcast the large video that I see to my audience and hide other video feeds. Pretty self-explanatory there. Uh, new guests are in my large three plus broadcasts are muted when they join. So, Again, if you're bringing somebody up on there and they pull the uh, the old the newsreel photo bomb, the you know, doo -doo 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 -doo, you know, and then jump off your panel, it won't go out over your feed. Great features to have. A lot of people don't know that you can uh, set this up when you're uh, doing your live streams. So now we're going to go over here to control room. Okay. Control room is nice because it allows you to mute people that's on your panel or shut off their, you know, video feed. Uh, I've actually seen this have to be done a couple times where people turned around and mooned the camera off while they was on the panel and, you know, we've had to shut that camera off pretty quick at times. So it gives you full production capabilities over here with the control room and you can add controls to other people on the panel so you can give say if i have jojo walker up on my panel and um five other guests i could give jojo full control of the stream right here in control panel i just click on her 
and there'll be a little drop down arrow right about here on her uh, thing and it says add control panel and bam there you go you've just also given control to somebody else on your panel it's red <laughs> Red Kryptonite is calling in the middle of my video. <laughs> Love you, Red. That's your shout out right there, brother. But I'm not going to answer right now because I'm filming. So, anyways. This is what it does all day long. For you. All day long for me. This is this is what I do. I'm, I'm constantly grinding, constantly connected. But uh, also, Hangouts. Hangouts Toolbox. Now, this is the, this is the crazy one for me because I've tried to use this. It never works. The, the custom overlays don't work. The, the only thing that works right is that it'll put your name up on your icon box when you're, uh, when you're on a panel. Other than that, I've never gotten it to work correctly. I've never got the lower thirds to work or anything like that. I don't even mess with it. I don't even advise you messing with it. Just leave it dead, you know, click it off there. Um, screen share. Everybody knows how screen share works. Pretty much everybody knows that, that you can. Now, I've got multiple mo 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 yeah. multiple monitors, and I can screen share either one. And when I have the third monitor hooked up, it will put the third monitor in there as well. So I can screen share any one of my three monitors uh, to the um, Hangouts live feed. Just like that. Okay. Wow, that got quiet. All right. And the last feature is the chat. This is a private chat just between you and your panel guests. It does not go out over your broadcast feed. If you want to remind somebody that's on your panel without saying, cutting in and saying something to them, this is a great way to let them know, hey, don't forget to, uh, you know, plug the, the, the upcoming event. So you can actually type that in a little thought bubble thing will come up next to their name or whatnot and show them what it reads let them know that there's a message in there and uh, if you are wanting to share information or whatever it's a good way to do it with panel guests without putting it out to your audience and you don't have to type it in the live chat for YouTube so you we utilize this all the time other than that I think that just about covers it you can add apps I've n I've tried to add apps before they don't have a whole lot of apps that you can add to it but uh, I hope that this guy this video helps you guys out and uh, like I said just a short tutorial video I'm gonna upload this to YouTube and uh, get this up there because like Green Bay said he'd been on here three years and didn't even know any of this stuff existed so all right guys Love you. I'll catch you on the next one. And uh, we'll see you probably tomorrow. Later on, guys.